Hey, are y'all ready for some number sense? Today I'm going over a UIL number sense test, test A from 2017. And in this test, I will go over the first 20 problems, 1 through 20. And then for those of you that stay for the whole video, I've got a special bonus for you. I will do some bonus problems from the second column. I'll give you three bonus problems today. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. In number sense, this is a mental math contest and where you can only write the answer down. No scratch paper, no extra work. I will sometimes work the answers on the margin just for purpose of explaining how to do these problems. Number one, 5017 minus 1167. Um, take 17 minus 67. So I'm looking at the last two digits here and the last two. 17 minus 67 is a negative 50. So 100 minus 50 is 50. Since I borrowed 100, this 50 becomes a 49. And then 49 minus 11 is 38. So that's 3850. Number two. 8.15 plus 194.7. So I'm looking at 70.15. 70 plus 0.15 is a 0.85. And then I'm looking at 8 plus 194. That's 202. Now, some of you will add one digit at a time. I am taking multiple digits because that way it's faster. Remember, it is a 10-minute test. Number three... I'm going to do 04 times 5, that's 20. Just write the 20. And then 5 times 8 is 40. Number 4, 6 goes into 44 7 times. And then you have 42. 44 minus 42 is 2. So now you have 22. 6 goes into 22 3 times. And you subtract 18, that's 4. 42, 6 goes into 42 seven times. So I'm just dividing one at a time. Number five, five eighths is six and a half percent or 6.62.5. In this case, they're asking for a mixed number, so it has to be 62 and one half. And this is one that you should probably just memorize. Memorize all your eights because they do come out quite a bit and it's too time consuming to take 500 and divide it by 8 and come up with 62 and a half. Number six, double and a half method. Make this a 30 and take half of 64. Double and a half. Double the 15, half the 34. Write your zero down and 3 times 32 is 96. So that's 960. Number seven, 24 divided by 12 is 2. So 8 times 4 is 32, plus 2 is 34, minus the 1. Remember the order of operations that you've got to do this and this. And so you're going to have 2 plus 32, and then minus 1. Number 8, uh, remainder when you divide by 3. So in this problem, I can cast out 3s. So 1, 1, 1, that's 3 ones. So I'll take those out. 2 plus the 1, I'm going to take those out, and it leaves me a 7. 7 divided by 3 has a remainder of 1. So the answer there for number 8 is 1. Number 9, 25% is 1 fourth, 1 fourth of 22. 4 goes into 25 times, and then 2 over 4 is 1 half. Number 10 is the start problem. It's an approximation. You get plus or minus 5% on this. So I'm going to take... 71,000 plus, I'm going to have 27, if I have, this is 700, 700, 700, that's 2,100. So I carry 2,000 and then 71 plus one here, plus that one there gives me 74, 74,000. And that's well within the range. 1996 times 3 plus 12 1996 is 2,000 minus 4. And when you multiply that times 3, you're going to have 6,000 minus 12 plus 12. So the minus 12 plus 12 cancel, 
and you wind up with 2,000 times 3, which is 6,000. Number 12, we can factor out a 14, and you're left with 18 plus 32, which is 50. 50 times 14, double and a half, 7 times 100, 700. Uh, number 13 is 15 squared. Just memorize that. That's 225. Number 14, which one is greater? Well, let's do a cross product. 9 times 11, that's 99. And 13 times 7, that's 91. Since 99 is greater, this would be your answer there, 11 over 13. Number 15. The arithmetic mean is the average of 23, 31, 18, and 36. Uh, students, you can add those four and divide by four. I like to pick a base of 20 because I think the answer is going to be 20 plus something. So this is a plus three, three more than 20. This is plus 11 and then minus two. And so I'm going to have three plus 11 minus two. That's 12. And then this is 16. 12 plus 16 is 28. 28 divided by 4, because I have four numbers, is 7. And my base was 20. So 20 plus the 7, the answer is 27. So pick a base, and then average those numbers, and then add it back to your base, which is 20. LCM, 32 and 40. The difference here is 8. If 8 goes into 40 and 8 goes into 32, then 8 is your greatest common factor. So what you need to do is multiply those two and divide one of those by 8. So if I divide this by 8, 32 divided by 8 is 4. 4 times 40 is 160. Or I could take 40 divided by 8, that's 5. 5 times 32 is also 160. Number 17, uh, add and subtract integers. 7 plus a negative 5, that's 2. Minus 3 is a negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1, 0. Uh, Roman numerals to Arabic numerals. D is 500. So I have 500. And then L is 50. LX is 60. And then the IV is 4. So that's 564. That's the end of the first column. We'll move over to the second column. Number 19, the number of prime divisors of 80 uh, 5 is a factor of 80. 5 times 16 is 80. And 16 is to the 4th power. And so you have only 2 prime numbers. So the answer here is 2. Now, what if they ask for the number of divisors? How many positive integral divisors are there for 80? Um, what you're going to do here is that you would add 1 here and add 1 there. So you're going to have 2 times 10. That would give you 20. That's a lot of factors of 80. There's 20 factors of 20. 20 factors, if they ask that. Here they're only asking for prime. It makes it an easier problem. Sometimes students will misread that. 18 times 19 plus 19, 18. Okay, well, 18 times 19, since this is an approximation, I'm going to say, well, let's make this a 20. And make this uh, 17. So that's about 340. The actual answer was 342. But let's say 340, uh, 340 plus 1900, 40 plus 20 is 60, 19 plus 3 is 22. So an answer close to 2260. That's almost right down the middle. And you made it this far. That's the first 20. And from here on, I'll draw a little line. And we'll say, let's go on to the bonus problems. And if you have any questions on any of these, let me know. And I'll answer all the comments. If you like Number Sense, hit the like button. And if you want to see uh, the next time I upload Number Sense videos, hit the bell for notifications and we'll let you know. Okay, these are the bonus problems. Uh, the last three in column two will be bonus. So, number 33... They're asking, what is the answer in base 5? 35 is in base 10. So we need to convert that to base 5. So when we convert to base 5, 
divide by 5 and write your remainder. 35 divided by 5 is 7, remainder 0. And then 7 divided by 5 is 1, remainder 2. So all I'm doing is I'm writing the remainders until I can write, uh, until I have no more remainders. Um, base 5 is the answer, 120. You can always check that by multiplying 5 times 1 plus 2. 7 times 5, 35, plus 0 is 35. Number 34, given the set 19, 25, 49, all the way to 361. Do you see a pattern here? It looks like these are odd numbers that are being squared. 1 squared, 3, 5, 7. This is 19 squared. So the odd number before 19 is 17, but it has to be squared. 17 squared is 289. Make sure you memorize that one. It does come out quite a bit. Uh, 6 is a 10, as x is to 15. This is a ratio proportion. And so what we know is that the two inner products, 10x, are equal to the two outer products which is 6 times 15 is 90. And so 10x equals to 90, then x would be 9. And so that's going to be it for 2017 UIL Numbersense Test A.